So I've been putting out videos for a couple of months now and I decided to go and take a look back at some of my old videos and I noticed one thing. The two most viewed videos is learn how to pick up women and sleeping with multiple women. This tells me one thing. You guys are some horny bastards. Okay, maybe you're not horny, but it would seem a lot of you are looking to make a connection with women. In my previous video, learn how to pick up women, I didn't really go in depth on how to pick up women. It was more so about the importance of learning how to pick up women. In this video, I'm going to give you guys the secret to how to get women. The real secret to how to get women? You ready for this? The real secret to how to get women is embracing your masculine traits. The media will tell you that masculinity is toxic, but bump all that. True masculinity is nothing but positive. Some of y'all may not know what I mean when I say embrace your masculine traits. What is that? It's being a leader. It's being a protector. It's being a provider. It's being strong, assertive, decisive, motivated, and ambitious. If you have all those traits, what woman wouldn't want you? Some of y'all probably thought I was going to come up here and teach you how to smooth talk a girl. I ain't with that. I'm not going to sit here and teach you how to trick a girl into believing that you're something you're not. Why? So you can just go and get the draws? And then when she finds out you're not the man that she thought you were, you're going on to deceive the next girl. This channel has been and always will be about self-improvement. If you want to connect with a woman, a good woman, a woman you can spend the rest of your life with, stupid pickup lines is not what you need. It's good to be able to break the ice, but afterwards you still have to prove that you are a decent man worthy of spending time with. Some of these guys will tell you that you can get women by living in your mama's basement and playing video games all day. And maybe you can, but you won't keep a woman like that. You first need to focus on yourself. If you're a young man who's hitting the gym, self-sufficient, and walking with confidence, women will be coming to you. Especially in these Western countries, these women aren't afraid to go after what they want. And I want to go back to walking with confidence because confidence doesn't just come when someone says, be confident. There's many different things you can do to boost your confidence. Dress nice, be well kept, Hit the gym. When you look good, you feel good. You don't have to be 6'5 and have a chiseled face to look good. Get a fresh cut. Put on a nice outfit. That's going to add some confidence to you. Anybody can do that. Just like anybody can go and hit the gym and work out. This next part is key. You need to find your purpose in life. When a woman sees a man who's focused on a goal and he's working hard to achieve it, women love that shit. And when you are an accomplished individual, confidence is going to come right along with it every time you get over that hurdle you prove to yourself and to the world that nothing is out of your reach if you just dedicate yourself to an idea and pat yourself on the back when you achieve your goals don't let nobody cheapen your wins you did that shit be proud of yourself and not only that you're going to continue to break down barriers women love a man who's going places they don't want a man who's complacent and where he's at is where he'll always be in life Women love the prospect of what can be. That's why men lie so much, because women love what they hear. You tell her you're going to have a huge wedding and a honeymoon in Italy, they can picture it as clearly as if they experienced it themselves. Don't be a guy who's staying in one spot. Be a man who's going places. Let's say you're doing all the right things. You're focused on yourself, you're making strides in your career, you're hitting the gym, and you're keeping yourself well-dressed. But you're still having issues talking with women. You have to remember that women are people too. I know as men, we put women on this high pedestal, but they're no better than the rest of us. A lot of men get anxiety over approaching women, even myself when I was younger. That's okay, that's normal. You have to have a game plan. Know what you wanna say. Walk up to her and make eye contact. Don't be staring at her tatas. Be polite and be honest. Hey, I'm Naeem. I don't mean to bother you. I think you're an attractive woman and I would like to get to know you. Keep it simple. A lot of guys will try to tell you to open up with a joke or a smooth line. But once that line is out there, she's probably heard it a million times. Now, if you're naturally funny and you can come up with something on the fly, then go for it. But don't try to be something that you're not. If you're not a smooth talker or you're not funny, don't try to be because it will definitely show. And for the love of God, please... 
Please don't catcall a chick. Just walk up to her and speak to her softly. You start shouting at a chick, it puts her on the spot, and it's just embarrassing. Just, just don't. And if she rejects you, that's okay. Remember, you've been busting your ass to become an amazing individual. If she rejects you, that's her loss. Don't let her bruise your ego. You're not going to be for everyone. Truth is, more women will reject you than accept you. Think of it as a batting average. If you're getting one out of three, you're doing damn good for yourself. Which brings me to my next point. If you want to get comfortable talking to women, you have to talk to a lot of women. Continue to approach women until you are no longer nervous about it. Eventually, you'll get to a point where you can kind of anticipate what they're going to say before they even say it. At that point, you can be clever. I have a boyfriend. And you're looking at him. You have to be quick on your feet, but that comes with practice. Also, learn how to take rejection. As I said before, you're going to get rejected a lot, so you got to find ways not to make it awkward. You're not interested? Wow, you just gonna break my heart like that. That's cold, that's cold. You you cute, that's cold. Keep it light. Walk away as if it didn't even mean much to you, even if it did. Don't beg or you'll come off desperate. When she says no, don't sit there like, come on, give me a chance. I will promise I'll treat you real nice. That's just gonna turn her off even more. Don't try to be too persistent. You can even try the indirect approach by just trying to spark a conversation. To me, having game is just the ability to spark a conversation. And there's no one way to spark a conversation. You have to be creative. You see a girl shopping in the DVD section and she picks out a movie you've watched. Oh, I love that movie. Have you watched it? She'll either say yes or no, and you just have to make sure you have a follow-up to keep the conversation going. If she's real short with you, take a hint. She's not interested. Cut the conversation short and go about your day. Forcing a conversation isn't going to make her like you more. She's only going to get annoyed. One thing I've even done to spark a conversation is I asked a girl why she rejected me. Do you think I'm ugly? Does my breath stink? Was my approach wrong? The feedback doesn't really matter. It's just an attempt to get dialogue going. The more you guys talk, the more comfortable she'll be. The more comfortable she is, the more she can tell you're not just some creep who approached her because she got a fat ass. Yes, you approach her because she got a fat ass, but you also wanna let her know that you see her as a human being with a fat ass. And you have to sell yourself. She's probably going to ask, what do you do for a living? Not everyone can say something impressive like, I'm a lawyer, a doctor, or a CEO. But maybe you can respond like, I'm delivering pizza now, but I'm working on my business management degree. Or, I'm a gym trainer, but I'm working on opening up my own gym. Women love to hear that you are aspiring for greatness. And let that shit be true. Don't just make up shit. Like I said before, be a man who's going places. Hopefully those tips help you land that special lady you have your eye on. Let me know what you thought of the video. What points did you agree with? What points did you disagree with? Leave your comments below and let me know what you thought. And if you got anything out this video. Hit that like button. This is Agree to Disagree. I'm out.